She transferred to BYU. Kenzie Kerber back on BYU Sports Nation. Kenzie, What's welcome up? to the show. Happy early Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for having me. Are you home? And if so, uh, what are you looking forward to most about your Thanksgiving meal tomorrow? Yes, I am home. We got home late last night from San Diego, but um, I'm excited to have this rainbow jello salad that my mom always makes. It's like my favorite thing, but it actually takes like all day the day before to make. So she's like working on it right now and it has to set overnight, but it's so pretty and it's the best. So I'm excited for that. That sounds good. That sounds awesome. Congratulations on the win over San Diego. Uh, I know that meant a lot to you guys because you were undefeated in West Coast Conference play. Uh, You'd won the championship, you know, on Saturday, but to finish undefeated in league, what did that mean? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it last night before before the game. I was going around to everyone in the locker room like, hey, did you guys know that if we win tonight, the first undefeated WCC conference like season since 1993? And everyone's like, no, how do you know that? I was like, I guess I just read stuff, but... um, (laughs) But yeah, I don't, I don't think our goal is ever to go undefeated. And we just really, we play every game. Like it's our, our last and it's, we really just focus on the next game at task. And so I think we've just been rolling and we've had our moments where, you know, we've been pushed, but to end conference undefeated is something that I've obviously never had in my career. And that obviously BYU hasn't had in a long time. And so I think it's a big, something to hang our hat on and but we just continue pushing forward into the tournament kenzie kerber is with us on byu sports nation as you look at the perfection in conference and then look at the lone loss against pittsburgh on the road playing without taylor and ballard nixon what type of momentum and experience will byu take into the tournament based on what you have faced this season yeah i mean obviously that one loss to pit it is a bummer and you know we've proven to be a top five team nationally, you know, we're ranked right behind them now. And so, I mean, it is a bummer. We didn't have Kaylin. It was very early on. It was our first road trip. We had, I think played like nine games at home. And so um, it was definitely something that we hadn't experienced yet in the season. And I almost wish we could have played them now. So I think our team just has continued to improve over the course of the season. And um, it is a bummer, but we, we don't look, we don't look to that loss. We just keep pushing forward. We keep getting better. And, Hopefully we end up facing Pitt in the the tournament, but um, it's been cool to see how much this team has improved over the course of the season. And we've had five tough games to finish out conference. You know, we had LMU and Pepperdine, and then we had St. Mary's and Pacific and then San Diego on the road. We've been on the road for two weeks now and it's been a grind. And we've had things that have shown through in the past five games that we hadn't seen all season in ourselves in some areas that we need to improve, but we're always very grateful when we get pushed and when we're in battles and every game in the past five games has been a battle. And we think that that is lining us up perfectly for the tournament because um, there have been moments in our conference season that we haven't really been pushed and had to dig deep and look within to see how we can problem solve and keep pushing through a game. And I think we've been tested the past five games and I think that's really good for us moving into the tournament. I can tell you're a seasoned vet, by the yep. way, you answered that question. That was just so well stated <laughs> and uh, executed. That was amazing. What are you guys expecting for Thank the you. NCAA tournament? Because it needs to be the first and second round in Provo. And then, unfortunately, due to the RPI, you probably got to go out on the road should you get to mm-hmm. the Sweet 16, which is uh, expected. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think we all obviously are hanging our hat on that we're going to host the first two rounds. Obviously, we don't want to speak too soon but we feel pretty confident that we will get those first two rounds at home and then obviously going on the road and I think the road has been something that has been a challenge to us at times this year we always play really well in the field house and sometimes have struggles passing or in different areas when we hit the road and so I think it has been good for us to be on the road for these past three games this weekend the past two weekends because it's forced us to play to our best of our abilities on the road. And we know that that's coming in the tournament, but um, you know, we we're just excited. We're ready to keep playing and keep getting better. And we have things that we want to get back in the gym on Friday and work on just from last night. And so there are things that, um, you know, we need to improve on going into the tournament and we need everyone to be at their best and ready to go and, be hungry to win and we want to make a run in the tournament. Our goal was to win the WCC and obviously to win a national championship. And 
we're not there yet. And so now it's time to move our focus to winning a national championship. And so we just, we keep growing, we keep problem solving and working together and expect to play well on the road. This team's got all the pieces, which is very exciting. It's been super fun to watch this group. Okay. The NCAA tournament in women's volleyball and even soccer is weird because it's not like the same as what you're used to seeing in, say, March Madness, right? It's not neutral site. It's yeah. not seated fully out, and everyone's not traveling a huge amount. Do you think you'll get Utah in the second round? Would you want Utah again in the second round? You know, it's something that at this point in my career, I'm like, it's most likely going to happen. And some people are like, wait, really? You think? And I'm like, I've played three out of my four years against BYU in the tournament in the yep. second round. And so um, just based on regional stuff, I do think we will have Utah. Obviously, we have to get through our first round and they have to get through their first round. But um, the odds of facing each other in the second round is high. And I've already kind of prepared myself for that. Um, I wouldn't say I do or don't want to at this point. It's it's the next team up. It's the next team we have to beat. And obviously, we remember what happened earlier this year. And that was a great game for us. And we had a great crowd and great atmosphere. And there was lots of fire and energy in that game. And I think that we can continue to bring that. And I think we're even a better team than we were when we played them back then. We obviously had a lot of adversity that game that we just kept battling through, you know, Aaron going down in the second, me going out in the mid middle of the third. I just think there were pieces that could have caused us to lose focus. And um, it obviously didn't matter. We kept pushing, but I think with our team being the strongest that it is and without those little injuries happening and without some of that, adversity i think it's even it's we're an even scarier team and we're even better than we were when we played them so um you know regardless if we play them or not i think it's exciting and we're ready to go so it'd be fun to play them again obviously what happened with me in the tournament when i was up at utah in 2019 we, i'd like to do that reverse this yeah, time. yeah yeah i was so, gonna say we don't want um, to talk about that match <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's do that again but now BYU be on the other side of that. So, Kenzie, I will say this. The only BYU women's volleyball team to play in a national championship was unseeded. They were unseeded in 2014. So maybe whatever seed you get, if you want to feel some disrespect, you can point to that and be like, hey, let's go out and prove it on the floor. Um, but for the record, I do feel like you deserve a top eight spot. We'll see what happens. If you had to guess a number, of where you're going to show up on Selection Sunday, what do you think it's going to be? Yeah, um, I think, you know, they, the committee came out early in the year with the top 10 of what they thought was going to be the top 10. There was a lot of controversy as to why BYU wasn't on there and a lot of people saying they don't play the toughest teams. And so if they were to recede now, I think there have been changes in matchups the past few weeks to month that teams have lost, teams have won. So I would like to say we should at least be 10. Obviously, strength of schedule is a big factor in that. Um, if I would have to guess a number, I'd probably say 11. That's just a basic guess, but I would be pleased with the top 10 seed, and obviously we want that, and we think we should be higher based off of our our level of competition, but the strength of schedule does play a factor into that, and we can't control that. We'll be happy with any seed we get and just are ready to play any team. Well, number 11 is my lucky number, so there's that. We're going to give you some BYU <laughs> Sports Nation karma as well, which means things are going to go really well. You're already really good, but why not throw in some positive <laughs> mojo and uh, enjoy Perfect. that rainbow jello? The rainbow jello is not going to lose. That, that's a for sure win, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> well, thanks, guys, and you guys have a good Thanksgiving. You got a happy Thank Thanksgiving you. to Kenzie Kerber with us from BYU Women's Volleyball, number four team in the country, according to the good. coaches.